Hey friends, welcome to Tuesday. Now, even though we can't see you, it is indeed a complete joy to know that you're here and you are joining us for what is such an important part of your daily routine. Let's believe that not only are you changing as you hear the word of God, but the Holy Spirit is filling you, not just to the brim, but to the overflow, so that others that you meet afterwards will be impacted in such a positive way. Keep paying it forward, in Jesus' name. Now, how great was Pastor Glynn's sermon on Jude at the weekend? In order to know what's real and what's fake, it is so, so imperative to build yourself up. Knowing exactly what the Bible says is essential. So keep diving into the word. Keep praying that the Spirit will give you revelation. And keep contending each and every day for your personal and our collective faith. Don't forget, all of the Audacious Church sermon content can be found across our various social channels or the main website. If you're ever unsure where to go, though, just simply check out youtube.com forward slash Audacious Church. youtube.com forward slash Audacious Church. You'll not only find all the sermon content there, you'll also find a whole wealth of older devotions and other power-packed edifying goodies. Lots of goodies. Right, so as we mentioned, we're indeed continuing to look through the short but powerful book of Jude this week. And as a great reminder, here are the two key verses that Pastor Darren shared in yesterday's devotion. Jude chapter 1, verses 20 and 21, NIV. But you, dear friends, by building yourselves up in your most holy faith and praying in the Holy Spirit, keep yourselves in God's love as you wait for the mercy of the Lord Jesus Christ to bring you to eternal life. Amen. Now, we have been learning about how to contend lately, and it's vital to stand our ground. We're part of an unshakable kingdom here, so let's not be a people that are easily shaken. But to do so, we need that firm foundation of the word. Now, contending means to confront, argue, grapple, push back, fight, and defend the true faith against the enemy who, as we know, is always crouching in the corner, waiting at the door, waiting for that opportunity to strike. Sadly, Satan, he wants to shake, rattle and roll us in every way possible, tying us in knots, throwing us for a loop and so on. How so? Well, by selling counterfeits, pretty much. The devil, yes, he likes to confuse, he likes to twist, he likes to manipulate anything. We see it all the way back in Genesis chapter 3 when he says, Did God really say? Oh, did God really say? How crafty to plant such a wicked seed of doubt. Well, praise God that he uses this letter of Jude, this book, this page, this chapter of Jude, to help expose these false teachings, help us prepare for the fight. Beware of false teachers. They are the thieves that steal, kill and destroy, as we read in John 10.10. 10. False teachers are the thieves. Here in Jude, verses 20 and 21, we see how Jude himself is encouraging us to build ourselves up. How do we do that, though? Well, as touched upon already, we stand on the word of God to begin with. Romans 10, 17, New King James Version. It says, So then, faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. How well do you know the word? The Bible is the inspired word of God. All scripture is God-breathed. That's what we know and hold on to. It's a lamp onto our feet. And Jesus said, those who know his teachings and put them into practice will be like a house that's built on solid rock, not shifting sands. 
God's word in our lives builds us up, it gives us strength, and it stops us from stumbling. Knowing his word and studying his word helps us to navigate falsehoods, helps us to keep from being deceived. We can also have confidence in the word due to three tests. The bibliographic test, the external test, and the internal test. These three tests mean that we can trust the reliability and the authenticity of the Bible as God's true divine word. Dive into it, study it, and make it the bedrock of our lives. Make it the bedrock of your life today. If you ever want to go deeper into this, then please get signed up to a small group, audaciouschurch.com forward slash small groups. You can get into the word there. If you want to go further, try out our three-month in-person or online alpha course where this can be discussed at greater length, audaciouschurch.com forward slash alpha. We are here to help you and support you as you get deeper into the word of God. Studying and knowing God's living and breathing word will mean that you will not easily be deceived. And let's face it, who wants to be deceived? We don't want to be made a fool of, and we don't want to fall. So make a commitment today to read your Bible each and every day. Make a commitment today to build yourself up in the word of God. Do you think to yourself, I struggle to find time to sit and read? Well, there are other options. There are YouTube videos that you can find. You can try out some of the fantastic audio versions of Bibles online, on apps, things like YouVersion, The Bible Project, or the newly titled Bible with Nikki and Pippa Gumbel, formerly known as The Bible in One Year. And there's also a great book called How to Read the Bible for All It's Worth, which is brilliant. Highly recommended. Buy it today from your nearest bookstore. <laughs> there are so many resources. You have people here at Audacious that can help you and support you. We have our own Audacious app that you can download. But whatever you choose, just be safe in the knowledge that holding on to God, holding on to God's word, will get you through any storm. His living and breathing word. It'll get you through any storm in life that the enemy tries to throw your way. Trust in our ever-present and ever-faithful Father in heaven. Amen. God bless you all. Catch you again very soon. Bye for now.